Welcome back. A big gathering this morning along the Willamette River, where a first of its kind ship built in Portland was christened. Some people are calling it a drone ship. No, Tim Becker was at this morning's ceremony. He's live in southeast Portland with more, Tim. Yeah, hi. I want to give you a look at this ship that was christened by the U.S. Navy. Now, it is called the Sea Hunter. Right now, you see people on and around it, but it was designed to complete missions out on the open ocean without a single person on board. Parade the colors. With military fanfare and a splash of champagne. It's my privilege and honor to christen the Sea Hunter. The Sea Hunter embarks on a trailblazing journey smack dab in the heart of Portland. How often can you be at the christening of a robot warship? The 132-foot outrigger flank vessel is the first unmanned anti-submarine warfare surface vehicle of its size. Look at this ship. I mean, it looks cool. Built at Portland's Vigor Industries shipyard, the vessel set afloat on the Willamette River in late January, making test runs and looking more like a haze gray, long nosed, curious Polynesian war canoe than a tactical military device. I look at it and see more a Klingon warship. <laughs> a warship that can go out across the oceans, uh, leave the pier, go do important missions, uh, just have very sparse control back at home. That's been a dream for a long time, and today's a really important milestone. The ship is the brainchild of and designed by DARPA, or Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Its primary mission, finding and tracking modern diesel electric submarines. Driven and controlled by computers, but a human will always be watching via satellite, able to take charge if necessary. Not a vessel, it's a fighting ship. I intend for it to go in harm's way. Buckle up, plug in, get nasty, let's go. Deputy Secretary of Defense Robert Work, they're pretty fired up about his newest toy. He tells me they plan to arm it with weapons eventually. That's still a long ways off, though. This ship will be moving down to San Diego in a couple of weeks, and then they'll put it out in the open ocean and be testing it for the next two years. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. All right. Thanks, Tim.